Hello, Cancer. Welcome to your monthly reading for the month of April of 2022. Thank you all so very much for tuning in. I hope this message, this reading, this video finds you well. So keep in mind, you guys, that this is a general reading. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't, as all of the messages are not going to resonate for everyone. If you would like to get a more personal reading with me, then check out the description box below where you will find a list of the readings that I offer and my email address. Shoot me an email letting me know that you're interested and I will get you all hooked up. If you would like to support the channel a little bit more and get some extra monthly content from me that is not found here on YouTube, check out Patreon, patreon.com slash divine conversations. The link to that can be found in the description box below as well. For as little as $3 a month, you can be a member of the, the clan of the unicorn herd over there and be get some extra content with me and be a part of the uh, more intimate family, yeah? And as always, please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Smashing that like button really helps to boost the video here on the YouTube algorithm, which would help get this message out to more people who need it. All right, Cancer? So let's get into this here, yeah? For you, for your month of April of 2022. Here we go. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Cancerians at this time. Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node. Please bring forward the best messages to serve their highest good and the highest good of all involved. Please give us clear and accurate representation of the energies in terms of what Cancer needs to know for the month of April of 2022. Excellent cancer. Let's get into this. I, this month I'm wanting to start with the animal spirit guide. So let's start here. Five shuffles for cancer. What messages do we have for cancer at this time? Please do it. What's going on for cancer? For my cancerians, sun, moon, rising, and north node. One last shuffle. All right, here we go. What's going on? What messages do we have for Cancer this month? Okay, Cancer, you have Buffalo. You have Camel. All right, excellent. And then you also, at the bottom of the deck here, you have Golden Egg. Okay, Cancer. So uh, what it's looking like here is there, uh, <laughs> what I'm hearing for you, Cancer, is resilience is on fleek. Okay, um, I believe, it feels like here, some of you actually... Some actually may be getting pregnant this month. Uh, some of you may be planning out um, a wedding, okay? Um, some of you may be planning a family aspect here, maybe wanting, preparing to have a baby, have a child. Um, if it's not a, a physical human baby, then it is um, a, a, a passion project that I'm hearing that you may be giving birth to. There is definitely a level of resilience and perseverance coming through for you between buff buffalo and camel. And then with golden egg at the bottom of the deck, I definitely feel like there is definitely some sort of new project, new venture, something that you're trying to give birth to, something that you are trying to will into existence, okay? But yes, resilience with, uh, with the, the uh, well, resilience, yes, with buffalo, but I'm also getting resilience with camel. But with camel, there's a level of survival instincts that are probably kicking on for you right now. Um, you... I am picking up a little bit of a survival mode for some of you, okay? Um, but you're handling it quite well. In terms of some sort of survival mode here, Cancer, I feel like you've been persevering towards something for a long time. And now at this point, your ability to um, maintain some sort of circumstance or maintain some sort of trajectory here is really... Uh, getting underway is really taking shape. I feel like you're really starting to master this resiliency, this resilient energy within you. Um, and with the golden egg here, I'm also kind of picking up that for some of you this month, um, with this level of mastery in terms of resilience, and uh, I'm also hearing within your character, it's providing you with some sort of inspiration. It's like you can see more now, or you, you recognize that you are capable of more because you've been able to handle 
whatever life circumstances have been have you've been facing or whatever life has been throwing at you at this point you feel much more confident in yourself. You have this level of resiliency strong under your belt or you've, you've really mastered this lesson. And so now for some of you, it's kind of opening your eyes to see, to be able to see more. You're able to do more. You're able to understand more or you just feel more inspired. It's this very much an energy of, I've come this far and I've done, I've come, I've gone through all of that and not only am I still standing, in some cases you're thriving. And that's really helping you to understand just how resilient you are, just how strong you are, just how powerful you are. And then that's providing you with this golden opportunity, really, to take uh, to take more risks, I guess, or to go for more or to allow yourself to do things that you haven't allowed yourself to do in the past, ways that you felt limited ways that you may have held yourself back. You're not holding yourself back like that any longer. And that's really this golden opportunity here for you because it's allowing you to do more, to go for more things, to go after what it is you truly want instead of standing off on the sidelines saying to yourself, oh, disbelieving in yourself. Oh, I can't do that. Oh, I'm not capable of that. Oh, that's not for me. Yes, it is for you. If you want it, if you desire it, if you want to build it, if you want to create it, then you are capable of doing it. And I feel like you're you're ready to do so now. This is really, really beautiful for you, Cancer. All right, let's get into your tarot here. Show us what's going on for Cancer. Five shuffles for my Cancers, Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node. What's going on for Cancer? What messages do we have for Cancer for the month of April of 2022? Three. Four. What messages do you have for Cancer? Please, Spirit. And five. All right. Here we go. I'm going to cut the deck. Boop. All right. Overall energy. Oop. Um, how do I, yeah, I do it this way. Okay. Sometimes I forget how I cut the deck here. Let me just shift this over. All right, Cancer, overall energy for you. You do have the Ace of Cups. Awesome. Okay. Unconditional self-love. I definitely feel like you've grown to a level of really, truly believing in yourself, Cancer, but also loving yourself and honoring yourself much more. You have the Ace of Cups. Underneath the Ace of Cups is you, the chariot. Okay. And then underneath the chariot is the Two of Wands. And then underneath the Two of Wands, you have the Queen of Wands. Cancer, this is a really beautiful energy for you. And it's all kind of lining up with what I've already been picking up for you here. So Ace of Cups is the level of new love here for yourself, a new understanding of what you're capable of, I'm hearing. And that's really put you in the driver's seat. You're really in the driver's seat this month, Cancer, with this chariot energy. There is a level of self-belief. Um, actually, Spirit wants me to say it this way. There is a level of self disbelief that you have completely eradicated out of your life. You're no longer standing in this place of should I. You're now standing in the place of I will or I want to. It's not whether you should or shouldn't anymore at this point. It's more about do I actually want to do it? Do I actually want to put my time, my energy, my effort into it? Because I know if I do do that, I will be able to accomplish whatever it is I set myself, I set out for. Okay. This is really beautiful for you, Cancer. So you're really in the driver's seat this month, or at least it, at this time in this energy, definitely in the driver's seat, definitely in a position to choose what's best for you, which direction you want to go in. Um, definitely with this Queen of Wands as well. This is an energy here of you... Um, really getting into alignment with what it is that you want. I definitely feel this energy for you, Cancer, of feeling like you can do anything. So you're allowing yourself to dream. You're allowing yourself to put yourself in that energetic vibration to bring the opportunities towards you so that you can take action in terms of what it is you want. This is so beautiful, Cancer. I really love this for you. Let's move forward here. Let's get into the first half of this spread. The first half is going the first half of the spread is going to look at the past up until the current moment. Yeah, so let's uh, looking back at what you may have been experiencing, what messages we have for you in terms of the 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 recent past. Yes. First set of surrounding energies for you Cancer. Bam, death. There's that transformation. The transformation from a state of disbelief to a state of self-belief. Yeah. Beautiful. Death is coupled with the page of cups. Uh, a new emotional reality, um, uh, the dreamer energy, allowing yourself to dream. There is definitely 
a facet of you, of your life experience, and all the ways that it, all the things that it taught you, or all the ways you may have been conditioned, that has fallen away. And that has given rise to either your true dreams, your true desires, what it is you truly want. Like some of you have completely let go of some sort of um, um, conditioning that was placed upon you that technically you did actually accept. But for what, there are many reasons as to why you could have accepted this conditioning. But that doesn't matter. The fact of the matter is that it has fallen away or has been discarded or removed. And now you are either able to dream more, dream better, you can see clearer, um, you are more in tune, in touch with yourself, and that is allowing your intuition to really speak to you. Or for some of you, there are dreams that you have had that have been hidden underneath the surface that have been blocked because of whatever condition, because of the strength of the conditioning that you had, that you have released now. And so that's able, that's allowing you to be in this dreamer energy. Beautiful. Second set of surrounding energies for you in terms of the recent past, bam, cancer. Look at that, the tower. I mean, belief systems, uh, goals that you had in mind, things that you believed about yourself, uh, societal conditioning, whatever, 11-11 on the counter. This, this is a massive, uh, it could be a sudden change. I, I, I did hear a sudden change, so for some of you, this is a massive sudden change. However, it really only looks or seems sudden to the people around you that didn't expect this to happen. For you, I don't feel like it's so sudden. I feel like cancer, internally, you knew this was coming. Either you knew it was coming or you were striving for this to happen, I believe, okay? But regardless as to whether it was sudden or not, it's definitely a massive change, a massive change in character, a deep change in character. That's beautiful. Second set of, oh, I'm sorry, uh, the tower is coupled with the nine of wands. Yeah, this is something you prepared for. This is something you were working towards the, for, for many of you, okay? For many of you, this is something that you were really striving for. It's like you decided that you didn't want to be held back in this way any longer and you fought tooth and nail for it. For others of you, it is. It was a bit of a sudden change, I, and it's interesting. I there was there was something that just clicked all of a sudden. I mean, you had been persevere. Okay, so you had been persevering with whatever belief system or belief structure or understanding that you had, and slowly but surely, you were starting to realize that something was not right here. Something was not right about this. But you kept going. You kept pushing. You kept striving, and ultimately. The moment that everything shifted was that moment that you allowed yourself to believe that, uh, or at least you allowed yourself to understand that if you were fighting so hard for something and getting nothing in return or just getting a bunch of kickback, a bunch of delays, whatnot, whatever, the moment that you allowed yourself to believe, well, maybe there's another way I could do this or maybe there's another direction for me to go in or maybe there's something altogether, something new altogether that I could be a part of, the moment that you allowed yourself to even entertain that thought was the moment that the tower came crashing down. And it sets you free. That is beautiful, Cancer. Okay, your challenge in terms of the past here, the king of wands, believing in yourself. Look at this. And then here's the queen at the bottom of the deck. Bam. See now what I'm getting for you, Cancer, here with this king of wands energy is that, um, ooh, excuse me, is that, is that um, the challenge for you in the past was believing that you could do something and, and, and getting, your, getting yourself together or getting your mind right to say, I don't really care what anyone else has to say about it. If this is something that I want, then I'm going to go after it. And I believe that I, I am protected enough or I love myself enough or I respect myself enough or I am capable of doing it. I'm capable of receiving it. I'm capable, capable of having it. Okay. There was a lot of, I'm picking up on a lot of societal influence, maybe family, maybe this is some sort of conditioning from childhood that, you know, you built your life off of, but there was something ingrained within you that made you feel like, or made you believe you couldn't, you shouldn't, you wouldn't. Okay. But the challenge in all of this, I'm feeling very specifically, whatever specific challenges you went through individually, it had a lot to do with the universe trying to push you into this direction of getting you to believe in yourself and getting you to go after what it is you truly want instead of allowing other people to tell you what it is you should go after or what it is you should want. That is excellent, Cancer. And no, it was not an easy journey, but you made it, it seems so far. King of Wands is coupled with Yep, the Four of Cups. Now, for some of you, the challenge was to stop accepting 
what someone else was giving you. There is a very strong message here or reality here in terms of you being handed what it is your... How do I put this into words? It's like people around you were telling you who to be or what to go for, what to strive for, what to believe in. And the challenge for you was to stop accepting that and to start building your own sense of reality or start going after what it is you were inspired to go after instead of allowing other people to tell you what to do or tell you how to be or tell you what to go for. The universe designed this very specifically to get you to be in a position to think for yourself, to stand on your own. And and and, and it, this kind of makes sense, Cancer, because especially what I'm picking up on here is for my Cancer North nodes. Um, cancer is a very family-oriented energy, okay? Very much is giving of themselves to the point where, to a fault sometimes, where they're just doing everything for the, their family or their people around them or the people that they care for, the people that they love, instead of really also honoring themselves. And so this was a big lesson for you or for whomever this reading is for specifically, um, to get yourself in alignment with what it is you truly want, who it is you truly are, and, and going after that, doing things for the love of yourself, not just for the love of others. Now, that doesn't mean that you can't still be there for your family and provide for the individuals that you love and care for in certain ways, but ultimately, this was about you getting into alignment with loving and caring for yourself as well, okay? That's a big message here, and that's really beautiful. I love this for you. Closing message, potential outcome in the first half of your reading here, Cancer. The Knight of Wands, look at that, feeling inspired, ready to go, ready to move forward, ready to go after the things you truly want to do, go after, okay? I'm hearing take the chances you want to take, take that leap of faith, go after that job, go after that partner, go after that, that, that career or that um, creative project. That's beautiful. The Knight of Wands is coupled with, bam, Cancer. The Ace of Swords, this is such a beautiful energy for you. Like whatever you dealt with in the past up until now, I mean, you success, what I'm hearing is you passed with flying colors. You, you came out of this exactly where the universe wants you or needs you to be. Truth and clarity about what it is you truly want and not being afraid to go after it any longer. I love this for you, Cancer. Let's get into the second half of your reading. Uh, and we're going to look at the current energies off into the future. So what could be coming down the pipeline for you a little bit? Yeah. First set of surrounding energies for you, Cancer. We have the two of pentacles. Okay. Now, with all of this excitement, with all of this fast moving, fast, uh, fast moving energy forward, forward motion here, you are going to have to balance things out. So what it looks like it's coming forward for you in the near future here, Cancer, is having to... Um, is having to delegate. You're re I, 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 with this new uh, energetic alignment for you. I feel like there are certain things that you're going to have to, you're going to have to let go of. I, I see you weighing the pros and cons in the near future, trying to decide what it is you still want to give your time and attention and energy to, and what it is you need to let go of in order for you to really fully take advantage of the new opportunities or the new energy in your life. For many of you, it's this new alignment that you're in that's causing you to look at old circumstances, old situations, and say, is this really in alignment with me anymore? Or do I really need this? Or can I let this go? Okay. Two of Pentacles is coupled with the Hierophant. Right. This makes sense because the Hierophant here, in terms of this situation for you, Cancer, the Hierophant is talking about structure and organization, I'm hearing. So, um, and what this structure represents is your new structure. So your new belief system, your, it's like you have a new religion, a new way of life. Maybe you are stepping into a, a higher level of spirituality. Maybe you are, uh, you switched, if you're in the more of a religious uh, uh, mindset you maybe you've switched religions maybe you you know you're um, uh, I don't know for example you've gone from Christianity to Judaism or or Muslim or something like that I don't know I mean they could be anything but whatever it is that you're balancing out it's all in terms of the new structure in your life the new rules that you have for your life however those resonate for you okay 
So make sure, make sure you stay very firm and connected with yourself and your intuition and your higher understanding at this point so that you can really make the best decisions as to what stays and what goes here, okay? Second set of surrounding energies for you in the near future here, Cancer, you do have the Four of Pentacles. Again, another energy of letting things go. I'm getting a very strong, well, actually, you know what's funny, Cancer? It is spring right now, and I'm hearing spring cleaning here for you, but that's really what this feels like. There is an energy here of you forcefully, in some cases, I'm hearing having to let go of things that you have been holding on to for dear life or for a long, long time. Uh, the interesting part about this, Cancer, is that the forcefulness of this is not you being forced to let go it's you in some cases you vigorously letting go of something that you've been something or some things or maybe some people that you've been holding on to and i feel like you're vigorously throwing this away or releasing this from your life uh because you're so excited about it because you can fi you finally see the reason why you should let things these things go you finally feel empowered to do so and it's really kind of um a beautiful feeling for you it's something that's new to you you don't often feel this way so it's it's really exciting this is this is so excellent cancer uh four of pentacles is coupled with yeah the three of pentacles yeah because in some cases in many cases you're rebuilding all right, you're rebuilding your foundation. You are restructuring your life. So you're going to have to let some things go. It's almost as if, you know, you're doing, let, let's say you're doing repairs on a house or you're remodeling your house and this four of pentacles, three of pentacles energy, also the two of pentacles, hierophant, it all, it's all speaking to the same thing. But all of this energy is you like literally removing old I don't know, old molding off the walls or taking a wall out of a certain space and to open it up more. You know what I mean? It's all part of the remodeling structure or the remodeling process for you. And that's a beautiful thing. Your challenge in the near future here, Cancer, is the Six of Cups. Nostalgia. Ooh, okay. Yeah, Cancer. I totally get that one. Um, and me personally, I'm a sucker for nostalgia. So the challenge here is releasing the past, I feel, with grace. Six of Cups, okay? Letting it go gracefully. Yeah, that's what Spirit just said. Uh, the Six of Cups is coupled with the Emperor. You're really going to need to be strong. I don't feel like this is going to be too much of an uh, too much of a struggle for you. Um, so, <laughs> which is, this is kind of interesting, Cancer. The challenge for some of you is going to be not being too rigid, not f coming across too cold as you move forward from the past. That's very interesting. But the challenge here is you being in the driver's seat, you making the executive decisions to stay what stays and what goes, okay? You gracefully parting ways with the past as you move on into the future. Okay, that's really beautiful. Closing message or potential outcome here for you, Cancer, in the second half in your reading in the near future. Bam, Queen of Pentacles. This is all put you in a really excellent place, Cancer, of value, self-worth, understanding what it is you're made of, I'm hearing, understanding what it is you are worthy of, putting you in the right position to get exactly what it is that you want because you have greater self-worth and greater value in yourself. There are also more boundaries. There's greater structure in your life, okay? So any sort of situations that you have been giving to that were that you were overextending or were overextending you or were depleting you here, that's gone by the wayside. And... It, for some of you, it feels like this is a little cold. It's a little bit foreign to you. And you might feel like you're being a bitch or an asshole or something like that, but you're not. You just have greater value, greater sense of self-worth, and that's putting you in a position to receive more, but with great, respons with great power comes great responsibility, right? Beautiful. Queen of Pentacles is coupled with yeah, yeah, see, there's the five of wands. Look, the, um, some people might come at you th oh, saying that you're, um, 
saying that you're being mean or that you're not being fair or this, that, and the third because you've changed, you're different. You are, but see, the thing about it for you, Cancer, is that you're more structured now. You have a greater understanding of what this structure should be in your life. And you're really not going to be taking any shit from anybody. So uh, to be honest with you, Cancer, this five of wands energy, uh, if it is external, it doesn't feel like it's affecting you much. And that actually might be upsetting people even more. But the reason for this is because you have this greater sense of commitment to the self is what I'm hearing, which is putting you in a greater in a greater position to be more powerful, to potentially be more helpful to people. But again, with great power comes great responsibility. And the Queen of Pentacles represents that responsible energy within you that says, no, I'm not giving to this until you show me something else or blah, 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 or like until blah, blah, blah. I am either I am giving to this or I'm not giving to this. And here's why. It doesn't mean you're any less compassionate. It doesn't mean you're any less loving. It doesn't mean you're any less nurturing. It just means you have greater structure in your life. And that's beautiful. All right. Let's get your closing message here from the Oracle of the Seven Energies. Yeah, five shuffles. Well, three shuffles for you, Cancer. One. Closing message for Cancer, please, Spirit. Two. Close out this reading for April of 2022. And this is three. All righty. Closing message for Cancer, please, Spirit. There it is right there. Call num card number 31, Call of the Muse. All right, the key concepts of this card. Creative expression, being in the flow of creativity, tuning in to inspiration, allowing creativity without being self-conscious, writing and journaling as a means of connection. When you feel the call of the muse, you are being invited to create, to be the artist choreographing your life, serving on behalf of the great artist, divine source. While the process feels intensely personal, your ego and self-identification are, ironically, the most unnecessary parts of the equation. While you might think your own, you own the magic of your creativity, can you truly say you're the source of the inspiration? Similar to the spirit of genius from card number 29, imagine your creativity stemming from another spirit guide, the muse. Just as the genius needs to partner with your intellect, so too does the muse need you to open your heart and let magic flow through your intuition and emotions. Stop seeing yourself as the center of the process and instead yourself as the, a partner in a creative dance. Sometimes you might be, quote, inside the music and the feelings, the story and its expression. Other times you observe from the sidelines, watching it all flow from an unknown yet deeply intimate source. Today, your muse is calling you to be a channel and allow the creative energy to flow through you. The energy of emotion is waiting to be, a give, to be given a voice, a name, a shape, or a color. Journal. Finish that writing project. Start something new. Paint, sing, dance. And don't worry where any of it lands. It has its own plans for you. Your muse knows where this was all meant to go. For you, the big magic is in the experience of answering the call. Beautiful. So there you have it, Cancer. Thank you all so very much for tuning in. I really, truly hope this was helpful for you. If you would like a personal reading with me, all the information can be, dis in, can be found in the description box below. Also, check us out on Patreon, patreon.com slash divine conversations. The link to that can be found in the description box below. And as always, please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Definitely smash that like button so that more and more people are able to see this message. With that said, I hope you have a fantastic month and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading for the month of May. Yeah? Excellent. Take care. Bye.